Flavor family, what is up? Art and I just got back from the grocery store. Guess how long we were at Whole Foods filming today? One hour, two hours, three hours, four and a half hours. It's a good thing they serve food in Whole Foods because we had lunch on the premises and went right back to work. Had a good old time, right? Uh, cranking out a podcast, videos, doing research about supplements, all that good stuff. Got back to the kitchen. And we're like, yo, I'm a little tired. Are you? Yeah. Do you want to do a live stream? Hex to the yeah, right? And we're gonna make a delicious soup. And it kinda is gonna take some time, so I wanna get started immediately. But I want to start the video right here and get going. My video is not showing, so hopefully you guys are good to go. Let me know if the video is coming through A-OK. -okay. Can you hear me, Art? Hey, can you hear me? I was taking in all these comments here and wondering what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. So my video is actually not working here. But everyone else seems to be working fine. Maggie B in the house. All right. Everyone says we're good to go. Arturo. Let's make this. It's a winter minestrone, meaning it's loaded with like winterish veggies, like sweet potatoes, kale, right? Will you be my kaolintine? Do you sneak Maggie a little B? kale in there? <laughs> sneak a little kale. And the reason why this soup is going to be next level is because of what's in this bowl right here. Someone tell me what this is right here, right? Someone tell me what that deliciousness is. In the meantime, I have my big old La Crusade pot going back here. Oh, Art, look at this. Color coordination between the Ooh. pot and the Rachel Ray olive oil dispenser. Come on. And this is just like quintessential winter time. We talk about it uh, in that video on Monday. Do you guys like that uh, holiday gift guide from Bobby? You got to get one of these. It's really just like expensive, but worth it. The first thing we do to build massive flavor in the soup is infuse flavor into the actual oil. So smell that. Uh, Maggie, Karen, and Kay, smell that. Exactly. It's sage and rosemary. And for all y'all guessing, yes, this is bone broth here. This is the key to making next, 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 uh, next level minestrone. Why? Exactly, hard. <laughs> because bone broth is like stock or soup broth on steroids. It's so good. You really, once you have that, you can't mess it up, right? The flavor is going to be great. We've been rocking recipes for minestrone, uh, Thai coconut soup, um, scallop bisque this weekend, all good because of that. So check this out, Art. Back here, I want to build as much flavor before adding my vegetables. So I'm adding the herbs to the oil, and the goal is to infuse that yummy olive oil with the sage and the rosemary and also just cook them for a minute. After that, turn your attention over here, Art. I'm gonna put in there a bunch of vegetables. I have onions, celery, uh, organic sweet potatoes, organic uh, carrots, and then I'll put a little bit of broccoli in there. What's cool about this recipe is that it's totally veggie loaded, and I say it's a great way to sneak veggies into the kids' diets without them caring about it because it's so flavorful they ain't gonna care. They're gonna be like, mom, dad, give me seconds, give me thirds. You're the best dad ever. I take back all those bad words I said about you, right? Because it tastes so darn good. And plus stuff like broccoli and stuff like uh, kale, very high in fiber. Why do we care so much about fiber? Like we always hear about it, it makes us regular, right? But it's also loaded with prebiotics. Prebiotics are things that actually feed the good gut bacteria. And I can't preach this enough to y'all Listen, 80% of your immune system living cells live in your gut. So foster them, nourish them, love them, cherish them, and they will love you back. What's so funny, Art? So first of all, I need to point out, Taylor wanted to point out that, yes, it is proper to dip your french fries in your Oh, my drink. God. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> and then where did it go here? Um, Joseph Minutella, I am here. I'm awake. And then what I started laughing about, perfect timing from Kathy W. She wrote, Shopping broccoli. Oh, Kathy, you're a woman after Art's heart. That's hilarious. Anytime you could sneak an SNL reference in there, do it. Art will love you forever. The king of that is Joseph Finley. Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. So I want to get these vegetables in here because it takes a while. And then we're going to make a lovely little arugula and cabbage salad. And I knew there was a great, a great question. What makes this minestrone versus just vegetable soup? Uh, what makes it versus minestrone soup? Yeah, what, what makes this minestrone soup versus just calling it vegetable soup? Well, because we're going to add um, Parmesan cheese rind. We're going to add a um, little bit of tomatoes and olive oil and Parmesan cheese. But to be honest, they're really, really similar. They're both pasta. Oh, yeah. Normally, well, it's normally you would add an optional, like, 
a noodle in there, but we're not going to do that because I want to keep it keto and I don't want to do that. So question now, I want to cook these vegetables, but I don't want to get too much color on there. So knowing that, do I add salt now or wait 15 minutes until these have cooked down? Tell me your answer and why. Tell me why. Tell me why. Right? Salt. What do I do? What do I do? And then later on, I'll fold in kale. Kale is not just a hipster ingredient. It's actually a superfood. Vitamin A, vitamin K, fiber. Really, really good stuff. But you got to buy organic because it's a dirty dozen vegetable. All right. So the answers are rolling in. Ryan says now. But Joseph says wait. Carla says wait. But Kieran says now. Gifty says wait. And Vicky says now to release the juices. Release the hounds. And John says wait because you want the moisture. So it's interesting. Vicky got it right. I want it now to release the moisture, right? Release the kraken. I'm not trying to caramelize these vegetables. I'm trying to sweat them. So I actually want to release their vegetables and cook them down and make them nice and soft. So I add a good pinch of unrefined salt Emily and some white pepper. Said now because Bobby says so. Emily. I love you for saying that. Whatever Bobby says is correct. I keep telling Art and Desi that and Rose and they just don't want to listen. We're going to have to agree to disagree. <laughs> Actually, Art listens very well. Desi is a little more stubborn. Okay, so here's the key to this soup, which is dead easy. By the way, I pasted the recipe in the description box down below so you can make this tomorrow or tonight. Cooking the vegetables for about 15 minutes. Someone remind me to check those in about 10 because I have to add the garlic. If you can really evaporate the moisture out of these vegetables, they'll intensify their flavor. They'll get sweeter and they'll add a nice amount of body and flavor to the soup. So over medium-ish heat, we'll just keep cooking. Just keep cooking. D Brown just keep... with a super chat. D Dirt, my man. $2. Art, great driving weather. Just saying. <laughs> hey man, I would love to go to the game, man. Hey, D drove down from Appleton, Wisconsin last weekend to come to the uh, Mariano's meetup. He drove three hours plus with his friend, uh, what was it, Vicky Lauren? I forgot her name. So D is an awesome Green Bay Packers fan. Even though he's a Packers fan, we love him. Oh, K says Bobby's always right. That's what I love to hear. Me. So this is not part of the recipe, but I want to add some cremini mushrooms, a.k.a. baby portobello mushrooms, a.k.a. baby bellas, because I have them, right? I don't want to waste them. And I'm going out of town tomorrow, so I don't want them to go bad. But they're also meaty and earthy and have that umami flavor. So just add them in. This isn't baking. We're not making Christmas cookies like Desi did earlier. We're making soup. You can't mess it up unless you put like something crazy in here like durian or like, <laughs> right? Something, even eggplant would work, pepper. It don't matter, right? If you're keeping score at home, that's the second time today we discussed during it. That's right. Speaking of cookies, feast your eyes. I know Desi's a little late to the party, but these are her paleo Christmas butter cookies. And you guys, I mean, I'll share the recipe on Instagram stories in the next day or so. These are unbelievable. They have a texture like a butter cookie. They're not too sweet. They're 100% paleo. Can we give Desi some love because she crushed that recipe. Oh my God. Absolutely delicious. Does Desi have her own channel? <laughs> no, that, this is Desi's channel too. Yes, I'm reading the questions. Yeah, no. All in the family. This is Flav City and family. Uh, whoever asked, there's a Bears versus Packers game in Lambeau. I will not be going to the game, but Dirk will be there and he'll be watching. The okay, Packers now the first. vegetables are cooking down. Let's talk a little fun, a little business and all that good stuff. Hope you're having a great night. A couple of things going on right now. We're making winter minestrone soup with an arugula salad. If you haven't done so yet, leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from, what you're making for dinner. Equally as important, we have 449 people watching right now. Let's get it even more. Because sharing is caring, right? So take the link to this stream, paste it over to Instagram stories and your Facebook wall. Be like, yo, my main man, Art and Bobby are hanging out. They're two of the coolest cats in Chicago. They're handsome, uh, really funny, all that good stuff. So where else do you want to be? Nowhere. You want to hang out with us, he right? Says cool cats. Cool. All the cool kids say that. So that's what's going on. Also, I have only 15, count them, 15 cookbooks to sign tonight and send out tomorrow. Everyone who orders gets a free Redmond Real Salt container because I want you cooking with the best stuff. So I'm actually gonna push 
the inventory out right now. I was waiting because I sold 15 to Instagram earlier. So in the description box, right below the video, there is a link, flavecity.com slash buy dash cookbook. 15, that is it. It's in media mail. So it takes about seven days. So this is the last time to get them before Christmas. We're gonna sign them and everyone's getting salt. So check it out and the recipe is down there below. Yeah, they'll be signed. All that good stuff. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Guarantee it's Amazon or UPS. Let's see. Hello. Hi, UPS. <laughs> this is what? The, uh, this is the, the tenth, tenth time, time they've come. All right, just show really quickly. This is half the boxes that have come today. This is our two-bedroom condo, guys. It's been taken over. That's why I joke, but I'm not even joking. I want an Amazon fulfillment room in my next house. Hang on, somebody's going <laughs> to the timeout. So... Bobby, is beef 100% grass-fed, not organic? Is that okay? Yeah, if it's not organic, that's fine. Because that just means it's not certified organic, but it's 100% pasture-raised, grass-fed. They're not feeding in GMOs. They're not giving an antibiotics, so I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, so why am I giving those hearty vegetables a head start over the garlic? Can someone tell me that? Can we move this? Yes. Thank you. Speaking of garlic, I'm going to cut up about four pieces. How do I purchase the book? Uh, the signed cookbook is a link in the description box. Look in the first line of the description box for this uh, stream or go to flavecity.com slash buy dash cookbook. I also want to thank you guys because back up for this one, Art. Um, you guys have done an amazing job mobilizing the Flav City family. The early numbers are out and I've heard that Costco has sold a ton of books at their limited locations. So if we keep it up, good things are gonna happen. A lot of people were upset because if you saw my content the last week, it's at 15 Costco's around the country, but they picked some really weird stores, right? Nothing on the East Coast, nothing in Florida, nothing in Texas. But um, Costco said, wow, we're selling a lot of books. So they might place a really big order, hopefully nationwide. But I wanted to update you and say thank you for uh, the support. People said they drove an hour, two hours out of their way, <clears throat> I think, to the Carlsbad location and to the one in Boise, Idaho. So I thought that was really, really nice of you guys. So very, very excited about that. Maggie B's been saying check, Bobby. Does that mean the vegetables or, oh, or something else? Oh, check. Yeah, this is organic garlic. You don't really have to buy it. It's not a dirty dozen vegetable, but it literally is like an extra 30 cents. So why not, right? Well, no, I didn't know if it check was about what's in the pot or if that's as about like you owe me a check as a money i don't know oh. it just says check Do... bobby oh i don't know maybe, if you want to send maybe. checks you can send checks well she's pointing to wire so. transfers money orders check 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 know. baby check baby one two three I, like that Maggie, what do you mean by check oh check the pot see that's what i was implying ah. that's what I was thank implying. you so look art we're not even close where i want to be but good things are happening it's already cooked down but i wanted to literally get to the point where it's almost like a concentrate or seriously like sludge almost culinary sludge in there and that's where i want it to be look at my screen art i can't see the video for some reason that's bizarre i'm gonna try to open it on maybe uh somebody was asking if your book is available in pdf so the cookbook is available in kindle and in apple books mm -hmm. and the bobby buying guide shopping guide is in kindle only not in pdf it's in correct kindle. correct that is correct. So if you have an iPhone or Android, there's an app. So I actually don't have a garlic press. Uh, Kathy, I don't know, I like to chop. The press is nice, but it gets clogged up and a little hard to clean, but I'm more of a chopper. But if you want to actually get it into a paste, now would be the time where you sprinkle some salt and you take your knife and you go like this and you can turn it into a paste, right? Because the salt acts like an abrasive. Um, so something to keep in mind. By the way, this recipe right here, is in the description box. So just expand your description box. You'll see the cookbook link. But also, I want you guys to make this recipe. So here's what we're gonna do. We already have rosemary, thyme, and sage. Actually, I don't have thyme. I ran out of it. Isn't that a song? In the pot. Rosemary, thyme, and sage, and parsley. Onion, carrots, bell pepper. I actually forgot. Uh, pepper flakes I have to add. Garlic, sweet potato in. We'll add tomato paste. We'll add a little bit of kale. Um, and then I actually ran out of uh, crushed tomatoes, so I used marinara sauce last time, and it worked great, and I thought that was a great hack. And then three quarts of bone broth. This is the kicker. I'll talk about that. The other kicker is a rind of Parmesan or Pecorino Romano cheese. The rind gives you this salty, nutty flavor that is a flavor booster, and then one bay leaf. 
So let me get the other ingredients. We need a, a hint of spice. I mean, I don't really like that much spice in food, but we do even less nowadays because of Rose for her breast food, our breast milk. <laughs> what are you laughing at, Rose? We don't want Jesse's milk to be spicy for wow. Rose. She'll be like, that's a spicy breast of milk. Uh, Somebody said velvet voice art. <laughs> Velvet? Nobody's ever said that before. Well, like the Velvet Fog, huh? Yeah, the Velvet Fog. That's... Mel Torme! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What's the machine, Taylor asks. That what's... Oh, the machine. This just came today. This is my new uh, kitchen toy. This is a Thermomix. Um, I'm actually going to be using it a lot next year. I'm doing a huge project with them in January. I re replaced my, um, my blender. You can blend and cook in here, steam in here, do a ton of stuff. I'm gonna make almond butter, almond flour, Rose's baby food. La, look for some really cool keto recipes coming with them in the new year. It's gonna be very exciting. Ah, uh, Big Sweet Potato said Basilmatic. What did I say to you this morning? Oh Basil my God, are you serious? I said Basilmatic. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. Art just said that this morning. Staying on that SNL theme, Kathy W asks, which SNL skit was better? More Cowbell or Chippendale auditions? Wow. That's a tough one. I would go Chippendale, personally. You got the great, the great one in there. The late, great Chris Farley, yeah. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> ah, our, they love Art's Bucky's t-shirt. Nice. So from marinara sauce, let's see what I have open here. I'm just nice. going to use this one, the Primal Kitchen one. I can't find this at stores yet, but what I'm really excited for you guys to try is this one. They're making dairy-free Alfredo sauce with great ingredients like they always do. And once it's available, you guys got to try it. It is unreal. So good. Why does Bobby not use the broccoli stem? You know, people Thank always you, ask me that. I mean, for a soup, that actually would be a good thing. Yeah, I actually threw them away. Whoops. Um, you'd have to peel them and then use them. For a soup, it's great. For a stir fry, it's great, but they're already in the garbage. It's because I'm lazy. That's why, right? Otherwise, I should do it. Kieran, this is not keto. This one is paleo. You are correct. Potato. You are correct. Uh, what else do I need? Oh, tomato paste. How much do you guys love the invention of tomato paste in the tube like this? I mean, because back in the day, back in my day, we didn't have tomato paste in the, tu in the tube. It was in the can. But in the, the can, paste. it would get moldy and stuff. This is just so convenient and it stays fresh. I love it. Uh, let's the see. Fresh maker. <laughs> the fresh maker. The fresh maker. So really, do I have a pepper in here? I forgot to add a pepper, but... Uh, Joseph Minatella, you're correct. I did not watch the original SNLs live. I started watching. I do. Them Let's late, just put late 80s. Here, I forgot this, but it's not too late. Let's quickly put it. Trivia: Is this an organic pepper or conventional, and why? Is our peppers dirty dozen? I mean, you tell me. Are you supposed to tell by looking at it. Uh, no, you're supposed oh. to tell me by knowing my spiel and my things that I've said a million times. Carefully get rid of the ribbon. Keep your fingers out of the way. This is bitter. And then I'll just put a julienne on there and then chop it up into a dice. Gonna add some nice sweetness too. See, this soup's gonna be really tasty because you got sweetness from red peppers, from sweet potatoes and carrots. So. Quite, quite lovely, and like I said, very veggie loaded. Uh, Gregory, Dirty Dozen, always go organic. Uh, yes, it's organic, Dirty Dozen, says Kayla. Correct, always want to buy organic. I find the cheapest price is at Trader Joe's. They have a three pack of a multicolor pepper for, I want to say $4.99, whereas sometimes at Whole Foods it can be $4.99 per pound, which is pretty pricey. I'm gonna add a shot more of olive oil here. Use any oil you want, right? And then for the salad portion of this, I am going to crowdsource that to you. I have no idea what kind of salad I want to make. I was thinking maybe something with like, one time we made like a honey mustard vinaigrette, right? If you guys want to do, do that again, let me know. But I forgot the recipe, so you'll have to tell me what to do. So this is looking really good. These what else sweet is going potatoes. So sweet potatoes are paleo. Uh, correct. Somebody said, wait, is this paleo? They're potatoes. These are sweet potatoes. Correct. If it's a white potato, it is not paleo. So really easy recipe. It just takes time. But once again, the kicker of this recipe is this. So look at the texture of this. This is homemade organic bone broth using organic beef bones. See how it's gelatinous like that? 
That's what you want. What's so funny? Maureen Murphy's comment. I think we need a Flave City video of Desi going out to dinner with her friends, talking about Art and Bobby driving her crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't exist. So this is good for you for many reasons. Number one, it's high in collagen, which is great for as you get older, like me, I'm 41 years old, you lose your collagen. It's high in gelatin, really good for your skin, and high in chondroitin, really good for your gut bacteria. So we talked earlier, right? It's all about fostering the good bacteria in your gut. Foods like this really help. If you're making a soup, a stew, a chili, a sauce, this is your biggest like edge in the kitchen. If you use boxed broth, not even that good, but using this stuff, you can't make a bad soup unless you majorly screw up. All right, check it out. So I have a safe story. Go to Instagram, Flav City, safe story at the top. It's how to make bone broth in the pressure cooker, instant pot or stove top. It takes three hours. You can reuse the bones. But here's the kicker, right? Is that even though the bone broth in the store is really expensive, making it homemade is a fraction of the cost. If you actually do the math like Art and I have done in the grocery store, if you want to get a gallon of uh, grass-fed bone broth or organic bone broth at the store, it can cost anywhere from $30 to $55. A gallon of this costs about $14, but you can reuse the bones three times. So you get about three gallons for $14, as opposed to paying over $100 at the grocery store. It is crazy. Um, I would go to my fan who created a new website uh, for beef called shepherdmeats.com. They started a grass-fed beef company. You can buy grass-fed knuckles and neck and use Flav City to get 15% off. Shipping's a bit expensive, so if you get a, $100 or more of uh, ingredients, it's gonna be free. Put it in your freezer. This has to be in your fridge and freezer every single day and week this winter. It's a must. All right, so Art, good things are happening in this pot. Check it out. It's cooked down a lot. And see that right there? I don't mind that because that's free flavor. That's going to release into the soup later on. This is my secret weapon. I take a little bit of tomato paste and I cook it for a minute. I'm a tomato paste fanatic. I love it. And when you cook it like this, it intensifies the flavor even more. So I'm going to cook that for a minute and then add our bone broth. Now, typically, like I said, you would add a can of crushed San Marzano tomatoes I'll let Art, I'll let Art explain to you why I love San Marzano tomatoes. Everyone say hello to the talented Arthur Almasy III. Hi, everybody. Bobby loves San Marzano tomatoes <laughs> because a long time ago, there was a place called Mount Vesuvius, a volcano that blew up and destroyed the city of... <laughs> I'm trying to blame. Naples. Naples. <laughs> there still is a Naples. Uh, it didn't, didn't destroy the city, it kind of killed people. Well, it destroyed, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't good for business. The lost city of... That's not Naples, though, isn't it? No. Uh, Drawn a blank. I, I've been there. But... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but so anyways, happened? their death led to very tasty tomatoes, in Bobby's opinion. We like to make jokes about... Well, it's not a funny matter, <laughs> but obviously we're making some jokes about it. Yes. Well, it's awkward. We laugh about it now, but I say those people Pompeii, died. that's what it is. Pompeii, thank yeah, you. Just those people like, died. But to the betterment of us all, because the soil was enriched with that volcanic ash, which is great for making produce, especially the San Marzano Tomato. Right? Okay. It's really not funny. It's not funny, but we seem to laugh every time we talk <laughs> about it, so I don't know, bro. Okay, now it's we take... Pompeii. How could I forget that? We take... Come here, Art. All of the bone broth. Someone had a question about bone broth. I'll have to go back and look at it. I think the cheapest place to buy bone broth now is at Aldi. They have a, uh, a glass bottle of it, organic bone broth for $2.99, but it's the one in the glass brown bottle. That's the one you gotta get. So now I wanna crank the heat. So I'm gonna actually put it over this burner. This is the power burner here. This will get it boiling pretty quick. So this is like it literally done, right? I could check for seasoning later on because I'm using bone broth, because I'm using good quality vegetables and stuff, I know it's gonna be money. Now, I'm only gonna use a little bit of tomatoes. Normally, this recipe calls for three quarters of a cup of your favorite marinara sauce. My favorite one is typically Rayo's, but this one's open. The thing is, tomatoes are acidic. They also have lectins. And Desi notices when she eats them, her tummy gets a little upset. And Rose, hey Rose, you look really cute by the way today. You'll come over in a minute. Rose sometimes gets a little tummy upset also. So I'm just gonna add art maybe 
a quarter cup. That's Hello it. Hello to Donna Taylor. And that is court, it. Home with the pretzels. And then, someone had a question here. Let's see. Can you buy tube tomato paste on Thrive Market? I'm not sure, but I'm sh pretty sure. Kayla, can I make it's bone broth from any protein, any bone on the animal? Um, no, it has to be a bone that has high collagen, gelatin, or marrow. So marrow bones are great. Femurs, the uh, knee is amazing. Knuckles are amazing. And the neck oh, is... Damn. Oxtail is great too. And you think about it, some people are like, oh, that's inhumane, but it's killing the animal. It's actually very humane and very sustainable because we're not killing the cow for the bones. We're killing it for the prime cuts of meat and beef and stuff like that. But we're using everything from nose to tail to bones. So it's actually very thoughtful to do this kind of thing. I know some people get horrified by bone broth. If you're using chicken, use chicken feet and chicken backs. They're fantastic for making this. Joseph Minatella says it's not funny. His great, great, great grandfather father died in a volcano rupture. There it's you not, go. See, it's not yeah. funny at all. But I, not at all. The first time Bobby ever mentioned it on video, the way he phrased it, I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, it's just... The very first time I yeah. did it. Yeah, so we're making reference to us yeah. recording it the first time and like the awkwardness of how he phrased it. Yes, ILY4153. Yeah, vitamin supplement video is actually coming this weekend from Costco. That scratches the surface. Next month, I'll have a ton more info about uh, supplements and vitamins that are Bobby approved. Because in this video, it's just talking a little bit about it, but talking about how crappy a lot of these supplements really are. Okay, let me see if we have any books left. Also, do not forget the uh, recipe to this minestrone is down below in the description box. I typed it out just for you guys to have. Somebody said the autograph book didn't say anything about salt. I don't think you wrote it. No, no, it's just for you guys. I don't put it on okay. there. Otherwise, other people might see it. So we got an order from... Adriana, Denise, Christine, Gabriella, Anne, Jacob, and Susan. You guys all have books coming your way and you're all getting salt. Unfortunately, we don't have time to personalize them. Um, so this batch is not gonna have like two uh, Susan or Jacob. We're just gonna sign them because that actually takes a lot of time and I'm leaving town tomorrow to go to LA for work. So that means I have, how many left? I have eight. I have eight cookbooks left. We will sign them, Art and I, as soon as we're done with dinner. The link is down below, the first line of the description box, flavecity.com uh, slash buy dash cookbook. Eight more signed, along with my favorite unrefined Redmond Real Salt. All right, Art, so another flavor booster for this soup. Check it out, you guys. Does anyone know what Pecorino Romano cheese is? It's, I call it the sister or the cousin to Parmigiano, because it's a sheep's milk, not a cow's milk cheese from Rome. But here's the beautiful thing. These aged cheeses have a rind. The rind is really kind of tough. You can't eat it, but here's what you do. This is Nona approved. Look, Art, you take the rind, you cut it off like this, and then you bring it over to the pot and you go, boom, goes the dynamite. And what does that do? You guys, it does a lot. It Char will Troyer infuse. Char from Michiana. Nice to see you, Char. Merry Christmas. It will infuse the soup with that salty, nutty Parmesan or um, Pecorino flavor. Oh my God, I'm telling you, this is the biggest trick or tip I learned many years ago, and I love it. Emily says uh, Romano is the cheese that doesn't make Bobby toot. <laughs> Actually, that is very true, but Parmesan, even though it's a cow's milk cheese, doesn't make me toot either. I've been saying it a lot lately. Tell me why. Why doesn't an aged cheese like Parmesan make Bobby toot or I have to borrow a uh, diaper from Rose? You tell me. But man, if you saw our stories yesterday, we did the Shake Shack review and Art and I got one of those vanilla malted shakes. I had two spoonfuls of that and that was my limit because anything more, it might have been a little got scary. A duo of super chats. Whoa. Now, Liz Cristiano, $2. Thank you. Bobby, if regular pasta doesn't say enriched, is it okay? And Char Troyer, Char. $19.99. Thank you very much. To thank both you. Of you. Thank you, guys. Liz, Char, thank you. Char is like one of the OG Flav City fans from back in the day. She lives in Michigan and we love her. Liz, if regular pasta doesn't say enriched, it is enriched. So stay away. One of my favorite pastas, Liz, is these two. Check it out. Art. These are from Trader Joe's. This is the organic red lentil, Sedanini. And this is actually my favorite. It's yellow lentil and brown rice spaghetti. And why do I like it? Because it's gluten-free, but it's whole grain pasta made from brown rice and lentils. Those are whole grain or whole beans. And this is red lentil. This is the kind of stuff you want to look for. If you're going to have a wheat pasta, it has to say whole wheat. 
It's all about whole grains if you're going to eat grains, but we rarely eat that kind of stuff because it's not paleo. Grains uh, don't really uh, make us feel well. They bloat us. They're not the kind of things that we like to eat. They also spike your glycemic uh, levels, so not the best stuff, but hey, once in a while, homeboy needs a little pasta in his life. Let's be honest, you just got to do it the right way. What about the zero calorie noodles made from shirataki? Well, yeah, I use them in like half a dozen recipes in this book. So look at the book here. Who asked that question? Big A. Big A. There's a whole chapter in my book called Pasta La Vista Baby. So if I go to page 73, I have recipes using these low carb shirataki noodles. This is what Art is waiting for. That's it's right. a three hour braised bolognese sauce with shirataki fettuccine noodles. Low carb, low calorie, high fiber noodles. This is a desi special. It's homemade gnocchi using almond flour and mozzarella cheese with crispy prosciutto. You guys, this is a life changing recipe. <clears throat> this here is stir fry with shirataki noodles, vegetables, and salmon cakes. So these are the kind of recipes in the cookbook uh, that I want to sign for you guys. Amazon, we hit 700 five-star reviews this week. High five, right? Costco sales are going well. We're doing great. The community is doing great. Uh, things are taking off. My goal is to reach a million subscribers in Q1 of 2020. Things are great, right? We're having a great time empowering people to take back the nutrition, teaching them how to put the right ingredients in their body, shop for the right products at the store, and make healthy recipes that don't make us fat, sick, and nearly dead. Forget about it, right? That's how we roll around here. Okay, what else do I have to do? So guys, I put a lot of bone broth in here, right? But the bone broth is not salted. I cook it with bones, celery, onions, gar uh, carrots, and a little bit of red wine or apple cider vinegar, zero salt. So let's do ourselves a favor and just salt it now, knowing that we're probably going to have to salt it later on. And I know art, I usually say, we're going to have to salt it later on, and I always get it right. This one's going to need salt. <laughs> but look, it already looks great. Look, I mean, doesn't that look like a soup that's been cooking for three hours, Nona style? Like a grandma's been just hunched over this pot for like all day, right? Kimberly, he was using beef bone broth for this. Yes, I am. Let's uh, chop some uh, kale in the meantime. Just sneak a little bit of I'm gonna kale say, in there. I'm, I'm not going to sneak. I'm going to put a lot of bit of kale. I'm going to go around. Because it's going to cook in that yummy broth. And... I love kale, right? You don't have to twist my arm. But if you have picky eaters, this is a way to get them to eat a lot of vegetables without them being like, ah, I hate you, Dad, right? It's just lovely. Let's see, that might, yeah, let's put a lot, who cares? <clears throat> How many books left, says Ladron? We have, dun da da da. Thank you, Subby. Three. There's three books Appreciate left it. in stock because. My girl, Vicky, Ladron, Brian, Maritza, Kathy, and Susan just placed orders. You got a signed book being shipped tomorrow along with some salt coming your way, gals. All girls. Oh, and Brian. Gals and Brian. Maggie B is reminding you to use your kale tool. Maggie. Maggie. Maggie's getting close to Shaheen levels. Shaheen's like my sister from another mister, but I feel like Maggie also is. So what's my kale tool? Well, it's this, it strips the kale. If you go to my Amazon shop page, I have 75 curated kitchen items that I use on a daily basis. I put there for you. I made the video all about it on Monday. Just go to the video from Monday, it says Bobby's Holiday Gift Guide, or go to amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City, <laughs> and all my stuff is there. Rose is on the ground going like this to me. <laughs> Show it, Rose, let's say hi to Rose. Everyone say hi to the lovely Rose Honey. Hi, Rose. Who did not sleep last night and really kept Desi and I up all night long, but you can't get mad at that face, right? You don't get mad at that face. She's too pretty. All right, the soup is boiling, so I'm going to pull it over here. And a, this is a first. A five-pound super chat from DJ in Scotland. We love your streams. Bought your book. Plan to live, live your recipes from January 1st. Love it. Wish you, Desi Rose, and our amazing holidays. Same to you. Thank you. DJ, number one, we've never gotten a pound uh, super chat, so thank you so much. It will change your life. Keto paleo recipes will change your life. Stick to it. Do the recipes. Control what goes in your body. Try to hit the gym. 
pounds will come off, inflammation will come down, diabetes will come down. You'll feel good, homie. Let's wash. Wash, wash, wash the kale. Wash, wash, wash the kale. <laughs> Thank you, Shark. Sure. Okay. So this is one of my favorite kitchen tools because you put the kale in the hole that fits the stock and you just zhuzh it through and it gets the stem removed from the... Let me show what's going on. You want kale cam? This is kale, kale cam, y'all. Kale, kale cam, ready? I'm going right in your face here, so I'm gonna go like this. Uh, 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 uh. Look at that, come on now, right? Remember, the kitchen is my playground. These I'm getting sprayed here. are my toys. Oh wow, this is like, this is like virtual reality. It's even better than the real thing. Virtual reality is what we're living in. Also, I'm gonna need your help in a minute because I'm gonna crowdsource the salad recipe with y'all. It's gonna be a cabbage and arugula salad. But what kind of dressing should we do? What should we put in it? I'm thinking something like a honey mustard can be really lovely. You were inspired it's... by eating honey mustard yesterday. At oh my God, yeah, we got the honey mustard dipping sauce. So once I have a little more downtime, I'm gonna tell you about the videos we made yesterday at Trader Joe's and at uh, Shake Shack. But yeah, I got the honey mustard dipping sauce for the chicken nuggets, which was really good. But you're not gonna believe what I'm gonna tell you about Shake Shack not putting the ingredients on their website or on the menu. You cannot find out what's in Shake Shack's recipes, which is the only fast food maker I know that does that. Not a Alan Sewer says you should do a tahini dressing. I like where you're going. I think it's tahini's not the right flavor for the minestrone, but I do love my tahini. This weekend we got two more Costco videos coming for you. We have a Costco meat seafood and chicken review video and a Costco supplement video. All the supplements, vitamins, and proteins at Costco. Art and I filmed the Trader Joe's holiday video yesterday along with some new items there. We got kicked out of Trader Joe's after how long, Art? A minute and change. <laughs> Literally. We were filming for one minute, they kicked us out. Big A. But luckily we went to another one that was like 10 minutes away and had no problem. So, all right, check it out. My pot, oh goodness, is going here. I wanna close it, because I'm not trying to reduce the soup. The stock is already flavorful. So I'm gonna keep that at a low, look where I'm putting the heat, all right, like low flow. Look at that knob right here, right? Medium low-ish heat. Slap the lid on the old La Crusade. We'll let it go. It's 613 right now, just let it go. Let it go, let it go, right? Don't get that song in my head, please, <laughs> Bobby. But you haven't seen the movie, have you? No, but I've heard the song many, 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 many times. Okay. This kale is not going to go in towards the end because I don't want it to be too cooked. I want it to have a bit of like texture left to it. I'll save this kale for another time. All right, let's take a little break. Let's pour a glass of keto wine. Monsieur, how does this keto wine from Tuscany sound? Why are you putting on a French accent? Because <laughs> it makes me look very fancy. I hope you guys ordered that, that keto wine from uh, the Seco Wine Club with my promo code because people on Instagram have ordered over 500 bottles and so have you and been loving it. I'm loving it. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Right, no sugar added, no chemicals. Turns out winemaking is a very dirty business. They could add up to 75 chemicals to the winemaking process, not tell you anything. They also add sugar to hurry up the fermentation. This has none of that. It has three grams of carbs in the whole bottle. Most glasses have 3.5 grams of carbs per glass. Barbara asks if that's a seven quart Le Creuset pot. And it's a seven and a quarter quart. Oh no, this one's a smaller. This one's the uh, five and a half. But the one I normally use is seven and a quarter. I have three different Le Creusets. But if you're going to buy one, I put it on my Amazon shop page. You get the seven and a quarter because it's big enough to cook a lot of food, but you can also cook the soup in there or small portions. Um, I just have a bunch because I love them. Okay. I think people should share this. Oh yeah, let's take a 673 people. Not bad for a Wednesday night, but we can do better. And the holiday season is all about sharing. So take the link right now. Time out. <laughs> Share it to Instagram stories, share it to Facebook wall, Twitter, Tumblr, Farmers Only, Tinder, Twitch, 
TikTok, wherever. You say, yo, Bobby and Art are hanging out, having a grand old time making minestrone soup, paleo recipe, sharing is caring, baby. By the way, Art is filming with my new camera. I have the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. Can you see a difference? Is the picture more clear perhaps today? Super happy about getting that. Yo, Art, are you a goon? I think not. Interesting. I don't really know what a goon is. Hey, I almost forgot. But Can someone tell me what this is right here? I always add one of these to some kinds of soups and braises. It's a must. It is a, oh, Jules. I'll give you the link right now. Oh, I think someone needs to be in a timeout there, Art. Bay leaf, Laverna. Laverna and Shirley got it. RV got it. Big A got it. Sarah got it. Stangman got it. Sarah got it. Daisy got it. Celine got it. Debbie got it. Bay leaf, it's like a must, right? Infuses flavor. So you don't need a leak. Go to this website here for the keto wine. Right, they're not paying me to say this. They already paid me a while back. I just keep promoting it because I love it. Go to Seco Wine Club, right? If you get three bottles or more, you get $15 off shipping. I recommend getting th these varieties right here. Uh, this is my favorite, but you can get any one you want. And it actually says it only has 0.26 grams of carbs per glass. It's dry farmed, meaning they add no water except for rainwater, which intensifies the flavor of the grapes. Zero chemicals and 100% keto. It really is organic wine too. They just don't have it certified organic. Amazing stuff, you guys. That's why when I drink other wine now, I get a headache immediately. It's from the chemicals and the sugar. That stuff's the bomb.com. Okay, time for salad. Let me check. I'm pretty sure we're sold out of books right now, but I just want to see. We might have one left. You never know. Products, books, one book. Repeat, this is not a drill, this is not a drill. Eugenia and Janine got the two of the last three. There is one cookbook left. Who wants this signed copy with my last bottle of salt? The link is down below in the description box. The perfect present. 15 different Costco's around the country have this book. The early sales numbers are amazing, which means Hopefully they're gonna send, uh, place a huge order pretty soon. Amazon, over 700 reviews. Really, really exciting stuff. Okay, favorite Siete wrap. Siete wraps are amazing because if you want tacos and you want paleo, they're the only way to go. And this is by far the best one. Check it out. I love them so much, I have them right here. The cashew flour Siete is amazing because it has the texture like a flour tortilla. Cashew, arrowroot, ACV, guar gum, konjac. This is just like a kind of, you know, uh, flour tortilla that has some good bend to it. Amazing. I'd get that one all day, every day. Paleo, but not keto. Okay, let's get working on this Encelata Verde. So I'll go back in the fridge here. And I'm gonna grab this. Oh gosh, check this out. Art and I got it today at Whole Foods. Remember we talked about this company who makes the uh, keto bread? It's called Base Culture. Well, they changed their formula. It used to have eight or nine grams of net carbs. Now it has four grams. And maybe they listened to us because we did that video on YouTube saying, hey, you guys are calling it keto bread. It's not really keto. Brand new formulation. Ingredients, the best you're ever going to see for a keto or paleo bread. Look at that. All thriller, zero filler, net carbs, eight minus four, four net carbs. It's expensive. It's $10 a loaf. The flowers are almond, uh, almond butter, arrowroot starch, psyllium husk, and golden flaxseed meal. Oh, so they got rid of the tapioca flour. Yeah, isn't that nice? And they're using golden flax meal. Yeah, this amazing stuff. Woman owned business, uh, amazing ingredients, expensive, but way better than any other keto bread on Amazon or anywhere else. Somebody just asked if you have a promo code for the Nirvana chocolates. Oh yeah, for sure. So uh, this, <laughs> this is not planned, but here's all my keto truffles. These are peanut butter keto truffles, and these are the chocolate ganache truffles here. Where, where are those? That used to be your favorite word, ganache. Gan ganache is a great word. Let's see, this is the, well, peanut butter. These are literally one net carb truffles here with allulose and uh, stevia. Amazing company in LA. Let me put my link in the uh, comments because I think it, what is it? Let me see what it is. Go around this side. 
Yeah, those are those are a must. Those are great. Let me see. Uh, do I have that here? I'm not even sure I have it. Nirvana and why? Somebody just asked where you bought your beef liverwurst. Ah, uh, that came from where, babe? U.S. Wellness Meats. U.S. Wellness Meats. U.S. Well, that is amazing stuff. It tastes so good. Oh, so it's where right are here. you going tomorrow? Where am I going? That's I'm going to California for a quick work trip. I am going to the headquarters of Thermomix. So there, click on that link, nirvana.com slash question mark reference Bobby Parrish. I'm going there. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff with uh, the Thermomix, but it hasn't gotten popular here yet. I did a cooking event with them a month and a half ago, had a great time. They uh, were nice enough to send me one of these. It's a almond butter, almond flour, smoothies, amazing stuff in here. I think next year this is going to be the it, it device. So I want to get used to it. And uh, they wanted to partner up with a collaboration for the new year. I said, absolutely. That's so mad. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see here. I saw one in Germany. Ax uh, totally. Can you do Aldi shops? Hopefully we're going to Aldi pretty soon. Uh, will you be making any more videos with Thomas DeLauer? For sure. Are you going to add the recipe to your website? Um, yes, but... I said the recipe for the soup is down below in the description box. I typed it out for you guys because I didn't have time to do a blog post for it. All right, let's make this quick and easy recipe here for the salad. Lots of exciting stuff coming up, you guys. We might be doing a collaboration with Whole Foods in the new year for healthy recipes and supplements, which means we actually get to film in the grocery store with permission, woohoo, without getting kicked out. So exciting. I'll drink some keto wine to that. <laughs> I went to Trader Joe's yesterday and I was using your video and podcast and I swear I was worried about getting kicked out. Well, Art, tell them what happened yesterday. We got through the doors. And Bobby saw an employee do a double take, went off to go talk to somebody else, and less than two minutes later, they asked us to stop filming. Yep, so what do we do? We left the store. And? Went to another one. And? Filmed it there. <laughs> you can't stop. The mission, right? I, I, it's like Blues Brothers. I'm on a mission from God. You can't stop us, right? One you, more time for us old folks. Where's that liverwurst sausage from? Oh, uh, U.S. Wellness Meats, an amazing yeah. company uh, that we tried to get some bones from. But um, I like the bones from this other company called Shepherd Meats Better because it's owned by a Flav City fan. Desi, do you want a uh, cabbage in the salad too? Yeah. Yeah, Desi. That Desi loves cabbage. <laughs> Crunchafarious, exactly. Hey, Bobby, could you add turmeric to the soup? To the soup? Um, yeah, so what I would do, I would put some turmeric root or a teaspoon of turmeric powder. So I would actually take like a little bit of turmeric like this and maybe just like slice it up a little bit and throw it in there. But I'm not going to do that. Froggy, we agree with you. Exactly. Actually, I might need that for later on to make some tea. Um, cabbage. So yeah, yesterday we did... We did the Shake Shack video. We ordered a bunch of stuff off of Shake Shack and reviewed it. And then we did the Trader Joe's video. Half like holiday items at Trader Joe's and half new stuff. Like they have amazing um, coconut water there, coconut meat smoothies, um, some drinks, and some other stuff I was really blown away by. Eric England from Elgin is back on the live stream. And breaking news, Rachel Murray with a $50 Whoa. super chat. Rachel. Wow, not even a message, Rachel. Thank you. Huge support. Thank you for that, Rachel. You guys are so sweet, right? So just a great way to support the channel, but I never ask for anything. Like I see a lot of creators doing Patreon and stuff like that. How do you guys feel about Patreon? It's not something I ever want to do, but I see a lot of people doing it. I'd rather just have your support from watching videos and sharing, to be honest. But Patreon just doesn't seem like, I don't want to create more content just for Patreon members. That seems unfair. I don't know. So I'm going to shave this really thin. This so is it's all veggies and no meat? Uh, yeah, this is meatless. Yeah, 100% meatless. Good point. This will be our second meatless meal of the week. On Monday, we did meatless uh, Monday also, right? <clears throat> Let's see here. Yep, very good point. I'll ask our Costco to order it in Massachusetts. Thank you, Patricia. I'm hoping Crystal Lake Costco will have it. Me too. The only one that has it in Illinois right now is Chicago. Lincoln Park. That's it. Very interesting order, but the beauty of having over 1.5 million followers on social media is people are everywhere. So people have been supporting the book in Oregon, Idaho, Colorado. 
Once I ask people to mobilize the Flav City family, they have done it. And that's what I want. I don't want your money. I just want your support. And you guys are so supportive. It's unbelievable. Are there other Costco's in the city? Uh, yeah, there's one on the south-ish side. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, not everyone can afford Patreon. Uh, so Kimberly says, Desi, a video on baby food and small toddlers for sure. Rachel Murray with our super chat says, Bobby, I've switched to keto and clean eating. You've changed my life. I've lost 13 pounds. There you go, Rachel. Good Keep it up. Rachel. It's good really job. as simple as that. Switching to keto paleo will help you drop pounds, make you feel good. Take any achiness out of your body, any inflammation. If you have diabetes, you can lower your medication. Um, to answer your question, yeah, we'll have tons of recipes. Uh, for toddlers and babies, some really, really cool stuff. We're literally diving into that head first and we're gonna have tons of stuff to share with you. It's gonna be Mar so exciting. Maritza Peguero, thank you for sharing your knowledge. I've lost 18 pounds since changing my eating habits and making recipes. I only buy Bobby Approved, much love, Flav family. Amazing, thank you. Thank you. It's, it's not rocket science. Like I say, it's easy. You just gotta follow and you gotta stay on the path. Uh, any Costco's that have the book in California? One Costco in California, it's in Carlsbad, which is outside of uh, San, Diego. San Diego. That's the only one that has it. Crazy stuff. What was the first green that Bobby put hey, in the salad? The first ingredient was first green. Uh, arugula. Arugula. Everyone say hello to the lovely Rose Honey with her new outfit. Fall into the gap. Yeah. What's huh? up, Rose? Hi, Rose. Rose is a whopping 19 pounds five or six ounces. I feel like every day now, she's growing in terms of size, weight, her face is changing, her hair is growing more, her little teeth are coming in so nice, right? Isn't that awesome, sweetie? Got the hmm. hiccups going there. <laughs> That's right, she always does. Yeah, you do. Lots of baby hiccups. She used to have the hiccups in the womb and you can feel Desi's belly go, hiccup, hiccup. It was really cute, right? Mm -hmm. You never tell a girl's weight. That's funny. All right, so nice. You're still rocking the mohawk. Look at that hawk, babe. Wow. Can you be any more badass? She's a badass baby. Not ah. mohawk, though. That's what Laura hmm. says. Can you help me get her legs in here real quick, Des? Art will turn the camera away. Desi's not camera ready. So, Art, right, focus on that beautiful uh, arugula or something. Chop salad here. Okay, Rosie. Look at there we go. Okay, that sweetie. Cabbage. Wow. That's sexy That's cabbage. Right? cabbage. All right, Rose. Okay. We have the minestrone going in the pot there. We're starting on the salad, but here's the part of the show where we have to make the dressing, right? And I don't know what kind of dressing I want to make, so it's up to you guys. Let me know what kind of dressing we should make. Should we do like a simple vinaigrette? Should we do that honey, uh, mustard honey, horseradish dressing? Should we make a uh, creamy dressing? I don't know. It's up to them. So they're going to vote, and we'll, uh, we'll make it, Rose. Now, let's see. <clears throat> Why does Rose look like art? Oh my God, that's funny. <laughs> Honey mustard, creamy. What milk will Rose be getting after Desi finishes breastfeeding? Well, that's not gonna happen for like a year and a half, so we haven't thought about that. But she won't get milk then after that. She'll transition to other stuff. Hint, bone broth is gonna play a big uh, role. Uh, she had her first bone broth yesterday, actually. Mustard, honey, creamy. Um, Honey mustard, honey mustard. Okay. Simple Living Vlogs. I ordered your cookbook and will give it away for Christmas to my family and friends. Thank you for all you do. Much love from Temecula, California. Very, very cool. Love to hear that. All right, we're going to make that honey mustard because y'all seem to want to get that. And all right, we're officially sold out of cookbooks. As soon as we're done, who got the last one here? Valeria Yeselenko. You got the last one coming your way. Honey mustard. Maggie says mustard honey or honey mustard? Both work. All right, so let's crowdsource ingredients for that. For the mustard, I'm not going to use like yellow mustard, right, Rosie? I'm going to use stone ground mustard. Here, you have to help me, Rose. So stone ground, I love this mustard. It has the seeds in there. Lovely. I want a little bit of bite in there, so I usually reach for a little bit of horseradish. I like a little bit of sweetness in there, so I reach for my top shelf bourbon barrel aged maple syrup. Uh, what else can go in there? Uh, lemon juice, for sure. Uh, salt and pepper, olive oil, or maybe avocado oil. Uh, let's put a touch of mayonnaise in there too, huh? 
put, actually, let's use this art, the garlic, main, the garlic aioli. It has a really nice flavor. And then just to mix it up a little bit for a touch of heat, let's put sriracha in there. And people, then... People want you to put some bacon and then mustard. Some bacon? Yeah, I don't have time to cook bacon. That's frozen right now. But I have a huge shipment. Thrive Market hooked me up. They're going to send six pounds of pasture-raised bacon. I hope you guys used my link from that bacon video last weekend. Their pasture-raised pork is some of the best pork I've ever had. It's so good that I ran out of the bacon in literally a day. Art and I made that video, then I had it the next weekend. This pasture-raised pork from uh, Thrive Market is amazing. Tom Dalton, four ninety nine super chat. Whoa! Bought a lot of lemons to go crazy zesting when the book arrives. Yeah, the buddy, Tom. Thank it should arrive Tom. anytime. Absolutely. Thank you. Tom got a book last week. It should be there any day. You got a zester in there. You're good to go, Tommy. Tommy, terrific. All right. So, what else? Ch -ch -ch salt, pepper. What else? Y'all saying here? Oh, let's see. Your Costco doesn't have that maple syrup? Oh man, honey mustard, let's see. Oh, nice Destiny, I can't wait for it to come. Hey, can you guys do me a favor? If you've ordered the cookbook on Amazon and you haven't yet left a review, please leave an Amazon review. It turns out those are really important for the algorithm. And after you write a review, if you'd be so kind to do a video review, Amazon goes <laughs> crazy for those. So if you can actually just film yourself like, you don't have to show yourself on camera. You can just show the book and be like, wow, they're such beautiful photos. Look how great this book is. I, can't, I love it. That would be great, but please leave a review. It's very important. I appreciate that. Okay, so let's start cracking on this vinaigrette. You know, I'm gonna do two kinds of acid. I'm gonna do apple cider vinegar. Can you put a link for the pork, please? Uh, yes, yeah, so here's the, the link for the pork is thrivemarket.com slash bobby. But you can't just order bacon yet. It's kind of like butcher box. Like you have to get the pork bundle, which is bacon, pork sausage, ground pork, and pork chops because they can't ship a la carte yet. So it's a $99 box. But if you're a first time member, sign up <coughs> for the year long membership and you get a $20 shopping credit. I love Thrive Market. I get my uh, pork there, I get ghee, I get uh, collagen peptides. But if you don't like it, you can cancel in the first 30 days, get your membership money back, but you get to keep that $20 credit. So at least try it once, get the $99 or the $120 bundle and get $20 off. The pork is next level. You can't even find pasture-raised pork at the grocery store. I love it. Okay, so let's make this dressing. All right, this is stone ground mustard. And I love it because there's brown and yellow mustard seeds in there. And that adds a little bit of texture and it's so good. So we'll start off with that. Then for a little bit of bite, I add this Bubbies from Canada, eh? Canada, All right? A little bit of prepared horseradish adds a nice little heat to it. I'm also gonna add just a shtickle of sriracha. Very- I had to think about my Yiddish thing. <laughs> very unorthodox. Orthodox and Yiddish, how about yeah, that? Yeah, I was going to say, that's kind of ironic that you said A little that. bit of sweetener in the form of that maple syrup. Any maple syrup works, but yeah, I'm telling you, this... Dribble, dribble down the bottle, too. I know. I should have bought that thing you were talking about today. I know. This is amazing. This is actual maple syrup aged in a bourbon barrel. And it has amazing flavor. It's organic. It's from uh, Hudson Valley, New York. Amazing stuff. Then I'm going to use this yummy Primal Kitchen. They, they send me some... Uh, Goodie bags once in a while, they're very nice. I'll add a little bit of mayonnaise here. Tara, Bobby does a combo of uh, paleo and keto. So yes. tonight this dinner is more paleo. Paleo, the yeah. The book is keto, but this is more of a paleo dinner because of the sweet Right, potatoes. but many of the recipes in the book are denoted as paleo too. Um, but see, we do paleo because that's what resonates with us because we, uh, we like sweet potatoes, we like watermelon and mangoes, right? We don't necessarily like carbs, but once in a while, Desi will make something that has tapioca starch and it's delicious. But Desi, you guys made these Christmas cookies today. And I think there's a little bit of tapioca starch in here and coconut flour, coconut sugar. Oh my God, I'll share the recipes on stories, but these cookies right here are like a butter cookie. And they're so good that you would never ever miss the cane sugar, the enriched flour, all that nasty crap that's normally in a uh, in a uh, Christmas cookie. Okay, so 
We need a little bit of salt and pepper in this dressing. And then I'll use some top shelf olive oil. This is some really good, break out the best stuff you have for this one. Gene from St. Paul, Minnesota, five degrees up there. Whoa, Gene. It's cold. You need a soup like this. So I'm gonna take this guy, mix it up a little bit, <clears throat> and then stream in some EVOO. This is actually from Australia. Any Aussies in the house? Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Let me open this thing here real quick. There we go. We'll just stream this in a little bit. I said honey mustard, but I'm using maple. So we'll call it maple mustard. But look at that color, right? That's really nice. But I have to add the lemon juice now. And wash the lemon. Always wash your produce, whether it's lemons, limes, or avocados. Think about how many things and people have touched this in the transport. And if you're gonna give it to little girls like Rose, are you getting demanding? Give me soup. Give me soup. You just always wanna wash this stuff. It's kind of gross. There was a breakout of listeria on avocados a few months ago. So <clears throat> hot soapy water. Don't take a chance, folks. Bobby, what is your opinion of air fryers? Uh, pass. It's a unitasker. It's a big thing that takes up <clears throat> so much room on your countertop. It's basically an oven that's small and circulates a lot of air. I don't know. If you fry a lot, just do it in the oven. Or just, if you don't fry that much, do it in the oil. It's not that big of a deal. I just don't have a ton of room for that. Right, young lady? Hopefully our next house will have more room. So now, this is, oh, this is looking good. Look at this art. Look at the texture. It's gonna be way healthier than the honey mustard at Shake Shack, right? So let's check it for seasoning. Uh, Libra asked what that white appliance is back there. That is a Thermomix. This is a Thermomix, the TM6. So I'm gonna be doing a bunch of recipes with them in January for healthy New Year's. And I'm gonna start using this as my main food processor and blender going forward because I think this is gonna be the next Instant Pot. You can chop and cook in here. It's powerful enough to make your own almond butter, almond flour. Um, we're gonna make uh, Rose's baby food in there. This thing is so popular in Europe, but no one knows about it in the US. I think that's gonna change in 2020. This will be the, uh, the IT device. Speaking of IT, woo -hoo -hoo, this is banging, holy cow. What else can we add to our salad? Should we put some nuts in there? What kind of nuts? Should we add some raisins or Bing cherries in there that are dried? Let me know what y'all think. Oh my God, that dressing you guys. Is Desi watching what she is eating while nursing? No onions, garlic, spicy stuff, gas producing veg like beans, cabbage, and packs of milk. Some babes will refuse to nurse or end up so much colic. Yep, 100%. Yep, no beans. Uh, very little spicy food, for sure. Add Low cherries. lectins, too. Add Not cherries, somebody says almonds, okay. walnuts. So let's do this, let's do the Bing cherry. Check these out, have you seen these at Trader Joe's, you guys? These are, see you, Taylor. Look at sunflower these. Sunflower seeds, toasted pecans, man, we're going all over. Look the, at this art. Throw everything in your pantry. <laughs> what do I have here? Thoughts on the Ninja Foodie? Um, I mean, yeah, it's like a, it's okay. It's like a blender. Not too bad at all. It's a cheaper version of like a Vitamix. I'm, I'm okay with that. Absolutely. No doubt. Everyone needs a food processor or blender. I mean, it really is a handy thing. Uh, this just takes it to the next level because it cooks in there too. Uh, so people love that thing in Australia and in Europe. They go gaga over there. See you, Char. Have a good night. Char? Char. See ya. Have a great Christmas if I don't talk to you before that. Emily Johnson, Bobby and I had a mutual friend, so became friends ever since uh, three this? of us were hanging out in high school. I'm gonna add a little more apple cider vinegar here. That salad dressing is popping, you guys. Totally. Lyra, it is called a Thermomix. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You'll see, I'll, I'll, on Instagram, I'm gonna talk about this a lot in the next Merry Christmas, uh, month. Merry Christmas. <clears throat> Let's put this away. Stangman uh, spies a barbecue ranch primal kitchen in your fridge. Yes, indeed. That's my favorite flavor. There is a little You're bit welcome, of Libra. smoke flavor in there, um, but I still love it. It's so, so good. What do you think the vacuum mixers? Vacuum mixers. I don't know what that is. Okay. Well, maybe you can uh, clarify. Yes. Uh, this one's Stinger. Yeah, it's good. Name disappeared. Uh, Carolina. 
Carolina. I don't know. Let's add uh, some stuff here. Let's add, these are the dried Bing cherries. Look at these, you guys. These are available at Trader Joe's. There's Trader no, <laughs> there's no sulfur. There's no uh, sorbates. It's just 100% pure. Chandler Bing cherries. Yeah, pure so dried cherries. So good. Is it true they're making a uh, reunion show for uh, friends? friends, you guys? I don't, I don't think they should do that. I think it's perfect the way it is. Maybe they should go on curb like Seinfeld did. There you go. <laughs> How many people we got on now, Art? We have 714. Not bad. Not bad. I like it. Not yeah, so sure. tomorrow I'm off to LA to do some bunch of yes, recipes do, and videos with Thermomix in their offices in Thousand Oaks. And then I'll come back and the next week Art and I are going to try to shoot a bunch of content actually for the new year. So the new year is our Christmas season, right? We don't really do that much Christmas recipes, but for the new year, clean eating, weight loss, healthy shopping, that's our money maker basically, right? So we're gonna come out swinging with recipes, or I'm sorry, videos from all different grocery stores, Aldi, Costco, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, uh, everywhere, telling you about healthy foods to eat for the new year, for weight loss, for, you know, keto for paleo for immune system it's going to be amazing what new videos for this week or do you want them to stay in suspense no you tell them art you tell me i don't know oh, you know <laughs> um it's going to be a continuation of uh costco saturday we're going to do a costco video um all about the meat seafood chicken and pork at costco and then after that it's going to be all about the vitamins supplements and protein powders at costco we just got a super chat from Gene Kinda. Gene, thank you, so, thank you so much. Thank you, Gene. You're so sweet. That's very nice of you. We also have videos almost ready to go. We did um, a Starbucks food and drink review. Desi, me, Rose, and Art. We ordered all the drinks and food on the menu We've, and uh, reviewed them. We just filmed the video yesterday at Shake Shack. We ordered a bunch of burgers, chicken, fries, and shakes and reviewed it. Here's the crazy thing about Shake Shack. They're the only fast food or fast casual place that doesn't put the ingredients on the actual website. And I emailed them and they said, our ingredients and recipes are proprietary. And I emailed them back and I'm like, yeah, I know your recipes are proprietary. I don't want the recipe for the shack sauce or the, you know, the shake. What are your ingredients? I'm sorry, that's proprietary. What? I was blown away. So we still went there and reviewed, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Went to Trader Joe's, did a holiday review along with some new stuff over there. We also have videos for uh, more on cooking oils. We're actually so far ahead in our content calendar. I've never been this way in my life. It's crazy. Bobby, have you ever pooped your pants after a challenge? After a challenge? Yeah. What kind of challenge? I think one of these challenges, like eating at the restaurant and like all this food that we order. No. Well, we don't really do challenge videos, right? We just do review videos. So I haven't pooped my video because I know when to limit myself. Like. The milkshake we got at Shake Shack yesterday, I literally had two spoons full and then Art ate the rest. Right? Thermomix TM6 is what you have, right? TM6. Somebody just said TM5. Here. No, the TM6 just came out. I wish they sell it on Amazon. It's not on Amazon yet, but you'll learn a lot more about it on Instagram. I'm going to take over their Instagram page. It's going to be very interesting. All right, let's check out the uh, soup. So, soup's been going for about 30 minutes, right? I mean, absolutely amazing smells are coming out of here. So what I want to do is check it for seasoning and also get the kale in there. So I'm pretty sure it's going to need more salt, but it has all those yummy vegetables in there. Shake Shack has a Golden State double with grass-fed beef in Cali. Are you serious? That's what uh, Rachel Murray told us. Well, that's got to be local to you because they don't have grass-fed beef anywhere else. All their chicken there is GMO-fed chicken, and all their dairy is GMO dairy. I was very upset about that, and they had no grass-fed. Gene Kinda, $9.99 Super Whoa! Chat. Thank you. Gene. You just gave one for two earlier, now another one. Thank you. Gene, you are so sweet. Thank you so much. Well, yeah that is so good. Here's what I want to do. Now, Art, I want to get all this yummy. I want to sneak all this yummy kale in here. That's what Jim Gaffigan says. Thank you, Jim says. Gaffigan. <laughs> I snuck a little kale in there. Why? <laughs> and then I want to pinch in a little more salt. 
And this is pretty much donezo. All right, let me check it for seasoning again. Maybe you'll, uh, right, you like the pepper? You like, I like it the pepper. I like it the pepper. All right, we'll put that in there. But guys, come on, recipe in the description box below. Get this recipe, make it. I typed it out specifically just for you guys, right? I mean, look at uh, that. Sharon Tobin said, picked up your cookbook yesterday in Silverdale, Washington. Stack was right in the front. Looks like they're selling well. Thank you so much. So in Washington, there's about five locations. Thank you for that, Sharon. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I heard from my publisher through the grapevine that Costco has been very impressed at the first week of sales of our uh, test run at Costco. And if it goes well, they'll place a much bigger order, at least maybe 30, 40 other stores and then nationwide. So. Wow. And here's what's so cool about a soup like this. Art, as good as it is right now, when will it be better? Probably tomorrow or even the day after that. Soups and stews and chilies? When well, I'll be in California. So Desi's going to love Rose. You guys are going to love this, right? Because here's the deal, Rose. Soups and stews and chilies are kind of like braises, right? And they age better. Just like Daddy. He's 41 years old. People say he gets better with age, right? He does, right? You are going to get better with age too. So that soup, as good as it is right now, Ooh, tomorrow, the next day when you and mommy are home alone, it's going to be so good. So good. Huh? Mm. <laughs> Still hiccuping, right? Okay, so that soup is pretty much done. We're pretty much done. How about that, Rose? Rose, give a smile for everyone. Hum. Hum, hum, hum. Hum. Hum, hum, hum. Hum. <laughs> Oh, that smile's precious. You can see the delay on the computer. Oh, there it is. Oh, you're so sweet, Rose. Too sweet. All right, let me just clean up a little bit, and then I'll plate the soup. And then Art and I have to uh, pack up those books. We got 30 books to pack. Are you up for that, Art? I'm up for it. Nice. Art's the Finnish horse. He's up for whatever, which is why I say cheers for keto wine. Whiskey for my men, beer for my horses. <laughs> And keto wine for me. Thank you, Toby. Right, young laddie? I would put the kale away. Put, I was gonna put this black radish. I'm gonna do that real quick. This is a black radish and Desi loves them. They're high in something that's good for you. I just don't know what. Desi really enjoys them. Let me peel that really quick. I wanna hear something funny, you guys? So yesterday at the uh, Trader Joe's holiday, <laughs> holiday review and healthy review, I picked up this cocoa peppermint almond creamer and by mistake, I put it in my cart and I bought it along with coffee that sometimes we just put stuff in our cart to make it look like we're actually shopping. And then we were in such a hurry to get out of there because my parking validation was done after an hour. So I got it home, but thank you, Daisy. So you might get this for the holidays and be like, oh, it's fun. I love peppermint and stuff. So this is an almond milk coffee creamer. Look at these ingredients, guys. Sugar is the second ingredient. Then we have natural flavors. Exact, exactly, Rose. Natural flavors. And look at this, there's eight grams of sugar in a one tablespoon serving. So eight grams of sugar is two teaspoons. Is anyone gonna use one tablespoon of creamer in their coffee? No, you're probably gonna use two or three. If you dare put three tablespoons of uh, this coffee creamer in your coffee, you're talking about 24 grams of sugar, which is Six, six teaspoons of white sugar. I often say in these videos, that's liquid diabetes. Bless you. And then people get mad at me who have type one diabetes. I'm not making fun of anyone. And type one diabetes is something you can't really control with diet. I'm saying that type two diabetes is a rampant epidemic in this country. And by the year 2050, one out of three people are gonna have it. And it's because of sugar, stuff like this, you can't be having eight to 24 grams of sugar in your coffee, that is gonna to lead to diabetes. It's an unsustainable thing that I'm trying to help people and if it sounds insensitive, it's not. I do it because I love you and I want you to be healthy. You're not making fun of the people's type two diabetes either. No, I'm making, <laughs> I'm making the fact that this is a huge problem aware, right? I'm trying to bring awareness and sometimes you have to shock people and say that. But you know, when I see like these Dunkin' Donuts lattes with 41 grams of sugar, I'm sorry, that is liquid diabetes, right? That, you say it better than me, Rose. So, I mean, there, you guys heard it. Heard it straight from the Morsh's mouth. <laughs> All right, let me just put this radish here for the old decinator. 
and then we're good to go. So this is a black radish. Hey, Dusty, what's the health benefit of the black radish again? Somebody said vitamin C. Vitamin C. Someone look it up and tell me online. Dusty's must be in the back of the condo. It has a slightly bitter flavor, which I don't really mind in I this. Vitamin C is supposed to help fight off infections. Oh, really? Infections? Cool. That's what, uh, who is that? Maureen Murphy wrote. Okay, interesting. And then, since it is a little bitter, you probably want to slice it thin. And unless you're like an iron chef and feel confident, you might want to use a hand slicer. So this is something, I believe it's on the Flav City shop page on Amazon. So you take the V slicer, and this is on there for sure. This is a Michael Jackson glove. <laughs> right, you put this on, all of a sudden you're like, boom, boom, do, ow, right? You can't cut your finger. Hey, Dusty, what's the health benefit of the black radish again? Digestive enzymes. Very good to know. I set this on one, and look, Art, I just slice it like this. And I can't cut my finger now because of the, see? Because of the glove, this is cut resistant. So look at that. I cannot cut my finger, which is really nice. I recommend getting that, and I recommend getting a hand mandolin like this because it's very easy to control. Whereas those big metal mandolins, they scare me. One time I cut my finger on there, and I've been afraid of it ever since. Okay. Oh, she seems pretty happy. So now we're done, right? Hooray! Look at this soup. This looks amazing, you guys. Let's bring this up yonder. I'm just so excited about this. And the reason why it's good is we started with that homemade organic bone broth. And that's the key to winning. You wanna win the soup game, you gotta make bone broth. You can't do this with water or homemade stock. I mean, or um, store-bought stock. It just doesn't taste key, that good. Key to winning or keto winning? Uh, no, keto. Yeah, it's not keto, it's not keto but keto, yeah. yeah. If you thing. actually get rid of the uh, sweet potatoes, it is keto. Even with the tomato? Taste? Uh, yeah, because there's okay. just a little bit of tomato. Everyone always forgets to season their salads. I know my dressing is seasoned perfectly, but this is a big, bland bowl of veggies. A little bit of salt. It just goes a long way, right? Hold on, me see. You like the pepper? Tom Dalton, $1.99 like... Super Chat. Oh. A Keto Christmas with Thomas and Bobby and Art. Ah, oh, dude, I like the way you think, Tommy Thank boy. You. I like it. Merry Christmas to you. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. So now we'll take the dressing. And look, Art, I like to pour it around the outside of the bowl. That way I can actually toss my salad into the dressing as opposed to just dousing it over the top. This Shen. honey mustard is... Fantastico. Shannon Albright. Uh, hi, I was introduced to you at the most perfect time in my life. I was having a ton of gut issues, and my doctor put me mm. on a ton of food restrictions. I've learned a lot from you about ingredients. Perfect. Thank gut you. issues are just so easy to fix. It's about identifying inflammatory foods and foods that can cause GI issues, which is why I always tell you to read the ingredients. If you have stomach issues, you got to stay away from certain ingredients like too many emulsifiers, carrageenan. Why? Why are these stores continuing to use so much carrageenan when it's a known inflammatory, it must be cheaper than other stuff. I just don't understand. If I ever have a product, it's gonna be best in class ingredients. And I actually, last week, the light bulb went off. I have two ideas. I don't wanna share now because I don't wanna put it out there. But I'm gonna look into next year having one or two products. And I think there's a need in the market for both because there's no such thing as clean versions of what I'm thinking of. and. It's something I have to research and probably put a lot of money into, but I think you guys will love it. All right, look at this salad art. This is a gorgeous, crunchy salad full of yummy fiber. Mmm. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Creamy, tangy, honey mustard. Gonna pair perfectly with that soup. Honey, uh, it's uh, maple mustard. Maple mustard, thank you, Art. Maple mustard. I will drink to that amazing pairing. Salad, watch the video back, get the ingredients. But the soup recipe is down below in the description box. I typed it out with my little fingers on the computer. Actually, this is how I type, like that. I don't know how to do this. I go, dun, 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 dun. It's very embarrassing. Can you but... mix the salad a little bit more? Liver wants me to ASMR it. Okay, hold on.
Okay. <laughs> See, people love that. Some people don't get that whole AMSR thing. Some people really love that. If you love that, imagine the tacos the other week. People must have been having like a religious experience with that. How did you find out that you were dairy intolerant? Um, well, I knew that from young because I used to like eat dairy and then fart like nobody's business. But other intolerances like oat or gluten, we got tested from a doctor and that's how we learned about those. And also the dairy, the casein. Yeah, casein. We got, I knew that already, but we got tested for that too. Nina Thacker just cut her type 2 diabetes medicine in half by eliminating extra sugar in my diet, giving up creamers and losing 35 pounds. I was on two insulins and pills. I now take one insulin at low dose. Way to go. Mina, that's what it's all about. Watch a documentary on Netflix called The Magic Pill. It's all about the keto paleo diet, healing your body from diabetes and other afflictions. People on there got rid of so many medications, their inflammation went down, they could walk without pain. It's all about the diet. Go to the grocery store like we do every day. They're trying to make us fat and sick and nearly dead. They don't want you dead because you can't make money off a dead person, right? They want you to be sick. That's why they put sugar, corn, wheat, and soy, and dairy in everything. A combination of sugar and fat makes you fat and sick. It's gotta stop, right? Once you start eating pe uh, keto and paleo, you get rid of all that shit and you start tasting good food and feeling great. It's Rachel really- Murray lost 13 pounds following you. And a whole man thoughts on the Blue Zone diet. Blue Zone, never heard of that. Oh, I'm hearing it all the time. Now. Really? Yeah. You are? Yeah. Are you serious? Yes. Art's hearing something I'm not? Yeah. Wow. I'm hearing people talk about the Blue Zone. You're serious? I'm, I'm not making this up. <laughs> I thought you were today's show. Today show the other day, they were really? it somewhere else. Blue Zone. Yeah. People who are living- Hold on, like, I wanna long. see what this means now. Hold on, Art. Let's really look high here. in the years. What are you doing? Are what you is blue zone, blue zone diet? diet. Oh, the blue zone diet. Let's see. Let's go to the first one here. Secrets from people who live up to a hundred. There's a picture of black beans, tortillas, and squash. They eat a lot of beans. Okay. They eat, do they really? Yeah. Uh, why can't I scroll here? The longevity study. Researchers found that genetics decide only about 10% of how a person lives. The other is dedicated to lifestyle. That part I agree. This page is not loading though. And now everything's frozen. The book is by Dan Butner. Oh, you wrote a book? Apparently. Let me search that again. That's Hold my on. Ellen Girl. Blue. Ellen Girl's a regular. Welcome. Nice. Blue Zone Diet. That's true. That Remember, Desi, that documentary you were watching talking about like 10% is the genetics. Uh, let's see. The blue zone diet. What are blue zones? In 2004, longevity expert Dan Butner teamed up with Nat Geo to test the blue zones. During their research, scientists want to dig deeper to uncover why inhabitants in these communities lived happier, healthier, and longer lives. One of the key factors they discovered was their environment, i.e. physical items, architecture, terrain, helps them make healthy decisions without thinking too much. And they don't have any stress. Yeah, see, time. exactly. Because these studies where they go to remote villages where they have no stress, I mean, obviously they're gonna have longer lives. They're not, they're not living in like the city with pollution and processed food and traffic and stuff like that, and iPhones and social media. Anytime these studies do these remote things, we're never gonna live like that unless you unplug from the matrix and go live in some island. So I'll learn some more about this, but Anytime they do this stuff in Neo Costa, Costa Rica, where the lowest rate of middle age mortality. Yeah, if I lived in Neo Coil, Costa Rica, and I surfed every day with no like connection to like stress and driving to work, these kind of studies, you guys, I don't know that they just they're a little misleading. We we live in a real society where there's stress and. We go to the grocery store and you're bombarded by crap every day. These guys make their food every day. Of course, they're going to be healthier. Well, Maddie, so. unless you do hashtag feed Farturo, yes, it is going to be no soup for you. <laughs> That's right. All right, check this out, Art. This soup, guys, can I get some love? I want to see the likes go from 230 to 250 right now. This soup, look at that. Oh, my God. It's veggie loaded. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It just looks so Thank good. You. Rose is getting what? Antsy pantsy. All right, we're going to end the stream then. Soup Nazi, I know. So right, a little bit of soup in there. I'm gonna fill up all three bowls so they kind of cool down now. But I would actually maybe even double this recipe, right? So you can have it for the entire week, especially if you have a family. TJ Mustard, you Because it's just gonna keep getting better and better, like I said. But luckily for Desi, she'll have enough for maybe the next one or two days while I'm gone. Although I'm gonna be here for lunch tomorrow, so I might eat this too. 
I might have to run to the store tomorrow, babe, and get you some stuff for Friday and Saturday while I'm gone. I mean, we were only at the grocery store for four and a half hours today, so. Not enough time to shop. <laughs> All right, so I, I finish these soups like this Uncle Farturo. I take out my block of Pecorino Romano queso. Thank One you, of my B, no. micro cleaners. For me. I go some fresh cheese on you there. I like the cheese. I like the cheese a lot. Cheese is good. Right, and then I'll do a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Where are you? Here. So a little fresh olive oil on top is gonna add a burst of flavor. And whether it's fruity or spicy or grassy, it's delicious, right? Does so there it is, you guys. Does it uh, taste like the Tuscan sun? If it's from Tuscany. And then get a plato nuevo for my ensalada verde. I put some of that salad down right there. And you guys, give me some love. Give me some hearts. Give me some kisses for that. Homemade winter minestrone soup a la nonna and an ensalata verde, right? This is what healthy paleo keto cooking is all about, right? Get rid of the sweet potatoes, it's keto. Is it rocket science? No. Do we use anything processed here? No. Will it taste better than anything you can buy at the grocery store? Hells to the yeah. So I'm gonna drink to that. A little Art, keto wine. Art is more of a mulligatawny person. <laughs> I've never actually had it. Maybe once. <laughs> you can recommend a good one. Uh, That's right. All right. So I want to end the stream Jesus because Desi says Rose is getting a little antsy. So Art. Cheese is from Costco, right? Yep. Yeah, that's a uh, best deal level on Parmesan or Pecorino Romano. All right. Let's switch many, positions. Many you try one of the soups comments above. and you try a bunch of salad. Everyone, once again, say hello to Arthur, Uncle Farturo. Almacy the third. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, this rig is really nice. Yeah. New rig, new, new phone. New rig, new phone. New everything. Which yeah. one's mine? I'll take the... The Keto Wine April is Seco Wine Club. Use Flav City promo on three bottles or more and get $5 shipping. Very nice and hearty. Hearty. Good flavor. Hardy says it's hearty. Hardy says it's hearty. Har, har. <laughs> Uh, no, we won't ba be back on Friday because I'll be in California working. Work, work, work. Yeah, Feed yeah. Uncle Farturo, says Maggie. That's right. I just love that salad. I think it's delish. That is crunch tash. <laughs> crunch tacular. Crunch tacular. I haven't heard that mm -hmm. one before. Well, you're, well, you're going to hear all sorts of new things. <laughs> Anna likes the Bucky's t shirt. Thank you. Perfect. Can you freeze it? Uh, yeah, you can freeze the soup 110%, not the salad, of course. So uh, perfect, you guys. Uh, Art and I are going to finish dinner with Rose and Desi. I'm going to ship out those books to everyone. Um, what else is going on? Let me go selfie mode right here. I'm going to be in Thousand Oaks, California, uh, Thursday or Friday and Saturday morning. Uh, so that is it, you guys. Uh, Saturday. And Sunday of this week, it's all Costco. Costco meat, seafood, chicken and pork. Costco vitamins, supplements, protein powder, all that good stuff. Uh, next week, Art and I are going to be back at it. Crushing content for the new year. We'll be back to Fridays with Flav. Having a great time. Oh, someone lost 100 pounds with two years just by changing Whoa. their eating habits. And doing MMA. MMA, too. You know what I said? Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, nice, Trina. Very cool. Um, yeah, that's what it's all about. If you can work out and do keto paleo, you're going to shed those pounds like nobody's business, right? Um, so that is it. Yeah, that's Simi Valley Costco. You guys have the Laird Superfood. You guys have everything there. That's amazing. Uh, we will see you very soon. Art and I and Desi are going to crush dinner. We say into you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. See you guys. Great time as always.